Now, most eyes are on Amsterdam cruise port, but what about Rotterdam? I mean, isn't it just Amsterdam's plan B port? Well, we spent a day here walking around the port area, seeing what's available within walking distance, and gotta tell you, Rotterdam rocks as a cruise port. So, in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why. I'm Troy, and this is the Port Loadout. Number one, great options at port. Rotterdam is along the west coast of the Netherlands, just 80 kilometers southwest of Amsterdam and 24 kilometers south of The Hague. Its gleaming modern terminal can accommodate many large ships and is an embarkation port as well as a port of call. The port itself is right smack in the middle of town with lots of options right outside the terminal, like this food hall, the Netherlands Photo Museum, a grocery store, access to rental bikes and scooters right on the street. So you can unlock and rent these electric yes. bikes and also and then these the scooters. electric scooters. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, you get the line. You get it there. on Google Play or download the app. The app. I mean, the app. Check. The app is called Check. I believe this one works with Lyft. Yeah, that works with Lyft, yeah. Yeah. Water taxis just next door. The Grand Erasmus Bridge, tram, and subway stations, and even a cool hotel next door. This is as convenient as convenient gets for a large city. If you choose, you could do most of your exploring on foot, crossing the bridge to the main touristed sections of the old town in just under 30 minutes. Number two, less crowded and slightly less expensive. While you do find other tourists here, it's more spread out and way less intense. Even in the heavily touristed areas, it doesn't feel like you're being crushed, unlike similar areas in Amsterdam. And prices here are a bit more reasonable compared to Amsterdam. Not by much, but enough to make accommodations and food stretch further. Number three, lots of cool things to see and do. Rotterdam contrasts with Amsterdam in that Amsterdam is old world classic versus Rotterdam's riotous modern style. The city is hip, lively and dynamic. Just check out the tourist information office with their free downstairs interactive exhibit on the city's history. Or check out the famous cube houses, the Regia Cubus, where for a small fee, you can wander this utterly baffling living space. Just mind the stairs, definitely not wheelchair friendly. Next door, the famous Markthal food court and apartment complex is a dizzying source of stimulation overload. And good eating, more on that in a bit. If that weren't enough, there's also an open air market. And the Grand St. Lawrence Church, one of the few survivors of Nazi bombs, with unusual modern touches as well as nods to other religions and creeds. All of this in one small area. We wish we had more time to dig deeper into the many museums and parks. There's even beaches not far off. Number four, there's a huge food scene. We haven't seen this much diversity in just a quick glance. The food hall across the street, for example, has such offerings as Japanese, Mexican, Chinese dumplings, and this great Indonesian Suriname place. The Suriname we eat sandwiches, Dutch kalani, uh -huh. influence. Mm -hmm. The chicken curry, the cashew. But to really blow your mind, spend some time at the massive Markthal food court. Huh, but where do we start? Poke, Middle Eastern spices, nuts, cookies. Hey, free samples, don't mind if I do. Candies, ice cream, of course. Japanese ramen, Ethiopian. Sausages, Asian hot pot, tersu. I'm quite sure what that is. Dragon breath candies, a frozen dessert made from cereal dipped in liquid nitrogen. And oh yeah, traditional herring. And if you just want yogurt and coffee, you got that covered too. The food here alone can keep you busy all day long. Now, if you like a little bit of port adventure while enjoying your cruise, like and subscribe so you can have ideas on how to spice up your next port of call. And thank you so much for all your views and support. It means the world to us. And finally, number five fantastic public transport options. Trains and trams are pretty much everywhere with extensive networks that make getting around pretty fast. For example, from across the port terminal at Wilhelmina Plein metro station, you can reach The Hague in 40 minutes via direct line, 
no transfers. From the same station, you're about 15 to 20 minutes away from the central station and another one hour to Amsterdam. Of course, the old town is also easy to access, right across the water via metro, tram, and water taxi. Now you can pay right with your credit card. No need to buy a separate ticket or pass. Plus the stations are slick, modern, and way cool. Rotterdam. Personally, we enjoyed Rotterdam so much, we put it on our short list of cities to revisit for a longer land trip. Have you spent time here? Any suggestions for our next trip here? Please leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you.